What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to go over uh, something a little bit different than just going over credit cards. Obviously I love personal finance, so I'm gonna go over how you can cut your expenses. I'm gonna give you 15 ways that you can cut your expenses and then you can go from there and hopefully this helps you. Before I start, hit the like button, that helps me out a lot. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And remember that I'm doing a giveaway, which I'll get into all of the details at the end of the video, so stick around till then. So cutting your expenses. Um, if you haven't seen uh, my video on whether you should save money or make money, um, I'll put that up in the cards. Um, that's a really interesting video um, just because you get to experience why it's such a benefit to save money over making more money. Um, when you make more money, obviously you have tons of things that come out of it. You have more taxes, you get paid less, you have more um, hours that you have to put in. So technically you're not getting everything back that you want, but if you just save money, you're saving that amount and that's it. So um, if you wanna check that video out, go ahead and check it out. It's a pretty decent video, I, I like it. Um, obviously I made it. So I'm gonna like it, but it, it's a good video. So check that video out, but I'm gonna jump into this list so that I don't waste a, a lot of time here. So really, I just wanna talk about how you're gonna cut your expenses in the long run. So the first thing you wanna do when you wanna cut expenses is you need to write down all of your expenses. You need to make sure you jot down a list, put it in Excel, put it in Word, put it in anywhere that you want, but you have to know what your expenses are. Um, there are a lot of people out there that pay um, expenses for years and they didn't know that they were paying it, like a gym membership, like a subscription. You didn't know that you were paying it and they're making money off of you even though you're not using it. So you need to know everything that you're paying, everything that's coming out of your bank account. So don't just do it by memory, go on your bank statement, go on your credit card statement, go on everything and understand what's coming out of different areas. Uh, the next thing you could do is you can cycle or walk to work. So if you live close to work or if you live within like a mile or something, um, you can ride a bike to work. I know of a bunch of people that do it. Now there is that problem of being sweaty. It depends if your job has like a shower or something. If you work at a gym, then that's the best opportunity to do it. Um, but that's a way to save money to cut that expense of gas. Um, and also you get exercise. So you don't have to worry about gym memberships. You can worry about you know, just biking or walking to work. And that helps you out in the long run. The third thing that you could do is you could shop at thrift stores. And this is something that's not um, taken well by a lot of people um, just because no one wants to really shop at thrift stores, but the wealthiest people in the world or people that have the most money really shop at the cheapest stores you can find. You have people that shop at Walmart for sneakers. You have people that shop at, you know, Walmart for, for shirts. And I keep going back to Walmart because they're a pretty cheap store. But you can find a lot of cheap things in different places um, and you don't have to spend a ton of money on clothing. You don't have to spend a ton of money on watches, on shoes, on anything. Um, you can just shop at thrift stores. So the fourth thing that you could do is something that I highly promote is buy unbranded products at supermarkets. So if you go to like a Walmart, buy their uh, Walmart brand milk. Um, it only helps you out in the end because you're spending less money. As you go down the list of buying 100 items, um, you're gonna be able to see that you saved maybe a dollar on each item. You saved $100 um, just by buying the store brand products. Instead of, you know, Sunny D, you're buying Walmart D. <laughs> I guess that's what they would call it. Walmart orange juice, really. So go ahead and do that and you'll find out that you're saving a ton of money. Number five is really simple. Take your own lunch to work. Um, don't go out and, um, spend money on Chick-fil-A. Don't go out and spend money on McDonald's and all this other stuff because you're spending $10 when you could be spending less than a dollar. So go ahead and take your lunch to work that helps you out in the long run um, and you'll be saving a ton of money by the end of the year. Actually, by the end of the month, you'll save a ton of money. Um, number six is something that I really want to do. I just uh, feel like sometimes I lose track of time is you cook your food, all of your meals in bulk. Now, there are a lot of people that do this for a uh, personal health reason. They obviously uh, preset their meals, they portion their meals out where they just have chicken, they just have salmon, they just have like vegetables. And this is a smart way to do it um, for your health, um, also um, to really understand what you're eating every single day. And I know sometimes that may get boring because you crave um, pizza, 
um, or something, but you got to do it. Uh, number seven is you can compare gas and electric prices. Um, if you're someone that is really um, frugal, that really wants to save money and you turn off every light in the house, I'm not really that person that turns off every light in the house. I'm actually a person that tends to leave lights on for some reason. Uh, that's probably my worst fault um, is leaving lights on and my wife would tell you this. Um, so you can save money by finding other ways to use your gas by uh, using your electric, um, finding ways to shut off your electric during the day or something. Um, just save money um, in electric and in gas and it'll just help you out so much. Um, the next thing, number eight, is you can cut out pricey drinks. And this goes back to, I don't know if you've uh, seen my frugal list, um, just drink water. Um, Basically, if you just drink water, you're going to save so much money because there are a lot of drinks out there that you may pay a dollar fifty at a restaurant, or you may pay, um, you know, two dollars or two fifty at, you know, at your work, at your job, or something. And if you just get water, if you just like take water out of the water fountain, you're going to notice that you save so much and i've noticed that because i literally drink so much water at work and i don't bring anything else and i bring water from home sometimes or i bring a water bottle from from home to work and just drink water and i won't have to worry about buying so many different drinks the next thing you could do is you could carpool and this is not a thing that people like to do because a lot of people will uh, want to run errands after work and you can't do that if you're in someone else's car, if you're depending on someone else. And this is why you have so many cars on the road. This is why you have so much traffic, uh, which bothers me so much. Um, but um, if you carpool, it's gonna help you out. It's gonna help the environment out. Um, you're gonna save money. Um, and you can go from there. So I'm, I'm not really gonna dig into that anymore. Um, that's number nine. Number 10 is you could reevaluate your insurance, all your insurance, your life insurance, your health insurance, your car insurance, your home insurance, your, your dog's health insurance. Um, you can you know, reevaluate your insurance and make sure you're paying the right amount. And this can save you, you know, sometimes $10, $20 a month, sometimes even more than that because a lot of people don't understand that they can change their insurance and that their insurance goes up sometimes and it, it only goes up because they just want to raise the prices it's in it's in your new contract or something like that and you can just go ahead and reevaluate that save twenty dollars save thirty dollars save fifty dollars in insurance um, so go ahead and do that that's fifty dollars each month that's a big saving so um, number 11 is something that I recently did, which is check your cable, um, your phone cable, internet, all that stuff, um, because Comcast likes to raise prices. Xfinity likes to raise prices, um, and they just do it um, just because you have promotional periods that they get you into their system with, but then as years go on, you just keep it. So for me, um, we started paying $120 a month for our whole entire package with the uh, DVR and everything. And then it moved up and jumped up to like 200 and something dollars. Why did this happen? Um, because they had a promotional period. And most of the time you can argue with them over the phone or you know talk to them over the phone and say, hey, I'm gonna leave and they're gonna change their package and they're gonna give you what you initially had um, just because they want you to stay and that's gonna be revenue going out the door. So go ahead and check that out. Call your cable company and talk to them about getting your deal that you had initially. Um, and if they say no, then just leave to another company. There are some out there. The next thing that you could do is you could do your dry cleaning at home, which is something I need to look into. Um, but I don't do it. I'm, I'm a person that does my dry cleaning out. Um, it's just easier to drop it off and pick it up. So I need to look into that, but that can save you a lot of money as well. Number 13 is something that I recently started doing. Um, you really make gifts for people. So um, if your family has like a birthday, especially if you have a daughter or a son, it's just so adorable to have them create a card. Um, hopefully I'm not you know, giving away all my secrets to anybody else that's watching my videos that I give gifts to. But you, you give gifts to people and um, you really just need to make your own gifts. It's a form of saving money um, because sometimes you spend $10 on a gift, $20 on a gift, or $25 on a gift card or something. So um, that's a way of saving money. So go ahead and 
do that, make the gifts yourself, give it to your loved ones and all your friends, and I'm sure they'll appreciate a, a handmade gift. Number 14 is uh, cancel your gym membership. And I can say that I'm a person that didn't cancel their gym membership when they should have, um, just because I don't really have the time to go to the gym. I have to work out at home, um, which is something that I, I like doing. I like going for runs outside anyways. Um, it's just, I don't know why, it's just the gym. When I'm at the gym, I know the sole reason that I'm at the gym is to work out and I get all of my workout in in an hour and then I'm done. Um, at home, I can't really focus on working out all the time because I have distractions. So i um, not gonna get into why I still have my gym membership. I, I need to cancel it. So that's something that I need to uh, implement in my life is canceling my gym membership, which I'm going to do tomorrow. Number 15 is replace bulbs with energy saving bulbs. Now, um, this is something that I don't do because I have um, smart bulbs, so I don't have to ever replace them. So eventually um, I'm going to get my money's worth, but the electricity is still like normal. So I'm, I mean, I'm not going to get into all of the different details of electricity and, you know, what I'm paying for electric, but um, I know that I could be saving a little bit more money if I had energy efficient bulbs. Um, but you can do this in your house. A lot of people are doing it and it would really help you out, really help your pockets and help your wallet. So that's my list guys. Hopefully you like it. Um, if you do hit the like button, that helps me out a lot. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And remember that I'm doing a giveaway um, of two Amazon gift cards when I hit my 2000 subscriber mark. So stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully I hit it sometime soon. I want to grow as fast as possible, but when I do hit it, um, put your name in the hat by hitting that subscribe button. But I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.